channel it's Ozer here and in today's video I am going to show you all of my art supplies first of all I'm going to start with my colored pencils these colored pencils are from Prismacolors and I have the 150 pack of these colored pencils they are super high quality colored pencils they are super smooth and very vibrant i love working with them and i have been using these color pencils for the past two years and they work pretty good for me and i do recommend these color pencils for you and i can say these are my all-time favorite color pencils i have ever been used uh, because as you know i do color pencil drawings more often so i love them and i do really recommend these for you Next I have my brush markers pro from Karen, they were actually so kind enough to send me these amazing brush markers for a review and I actually did a video about them and you can check that out, they are a very high quality brush markers and you can use them in a very bunch of different ways, I can use them as a markers or as a watercolor, uh, they work very perfectly and they come with the three blenders. Next I have my deco brush and they are also from Karen, uh, these comes with 10 metallic permanent markers which are kind of like glittery colors which is so beautiful, so amazing and high quality, uh, I haven't used them yet but I will use them soon. Here I have my Faber Castell soft pastels and they come in 72 different colors of soft pastels so I'm gonna open it as you can see they come with a variety of colors the colors are very beautiful and they are super soft and the thing I do not like about soft pastels is that they are not gonna stack on your paper the way the color pencils do so you may need a setting spray after using them and you need to be super careful with the artwork you're gonna me you're gonna make with these soft pastels because they may fall off from your paper. So here again I have my Prisma colors and it's the 72 pack of it. Uh, I was uh, actually needed some colors which was almost finished. So instead of buying them separately, I decided to buy the 72 pack, and I am obsessed with them. So if you don't want the 150 pack of the Prisma colors and you think you might not use all of the colors and you still need the important colors, so I guess this one is perfect for you. You can buy the 22 packs as you can see, they almost have all the important colors you're gonna need for your drawings. Next I have my favorite castles, watercolors and classic colors. Uh, I bought them when I first started drawing and I can say for a beginner they work very perfect for me. At the time I was using the classic colors more often, uh, also I might do a video about the uh, comparison between Faber-Castell classic colors and the Prisma colors. They are like completely different quality and they are very cheaper than the Prisma colors. So if you want me to make a video about it, don't forget to comment. Here is my most important part of my art supplies, which are the erasers, sharpeners and all the stuff you can see. Uh, here is my erasers from Faber Castle and the next one is from the Prismacolors, which both works perfectly. Uh, I have my white jewel wheel pen, which I use for highlight and uh, white highlight I need to use. And the next one is a correction pen, which also I use this for uh, white details and highlights. Next I have my metallic pencils, which I use for the sketching, which it came with a lead, which this also is from Faber-Castell. Next I have my sharpeners, uh, the small blue one I use for my prisma colors, and the bigger one is from my pencils. And uh, here is a 
brush which I use to clean my paper when I erase and stuff instead of cleaning the paper with my hand and uh, cleaning this with this brush which works perfectly and here is a pencil or a pen extender which you can use it when your pencils are very sharp they work great and my rulers which I use for grade are measurement my skates in this pencil case I have my pencils which I use for sketching and they are HP. Also I have a Prisma colors which I use for a darker shade. I have my charcoals which I use for black and white drawings for darker shadows or for mostly for hairs which they are amazing. Next I have my favorite castles 12 sets of the favorite castles design sets which I use for sketching and black and white drawings and they are very great also I can have some pencils for sketching and instead of buying one I also buy so much of these and they are from favorite castle and they are HP and they are great for sketching here I have my ballpoint pen uh, which are from Stedler and the cool thing about these pens are that you can use them for drawing portraits or whatever you're drawing they are very amazing I already did uh, eye drawings with these and they work perfect next I have my glittery pen I bought these only because of a drawing I did two years ago uh, these were from like glittery stuff on that drawing and I never used this but they are great in this pencil case I have my markers and black pens my black markers are from Miniso which I use them mostly for base colors of drawing here uh, these markers might be for writing and stuff but I do use this for my drawings and they work perfect for me. Also I have like uh, two different colors from these markers. Also I have my black pens which I use these for line art sometimes and they also are from Miniso. And I do have like two more of these and they work perfect for me. I have the most important part of my art supplies which are the papers these papers are from straight more the first one is tuned and the second one is the colored pencil uh, I do like the tuned more than the color pencils because the color pencil one is uh, more texture and I do prefer the papers which are more smooth uh, which works perfectly for me for color pencil drawings Here I have my A4 size papers which uh, two of them are for my color pencil drawing and one is for my watercolor. The first one is my all time favorite paper which I did most of my drawing in this paper. This paper is very white and smooth and I love working with, with it. Also the second one is I bought it new and I do not use it yet but it looks quite good quality paper. And the third one is uh, from Canson which is watercolor paper and I do my watercolor paintings in this paper. Here I have my A3 size sketchbooks, uh, which this one is for pastels and it have uh, different color papers. And the second one is my all time favorite papers, which uh, I do my recent drawing in this paper. The quality of this paper is very amazing and it's very smooth. Uh, and I love working with this paper. Here I have my mini sketchbooks, which I do my small sketches. Uh, I also did a bunch of sketches in this one, which I might do a video about of, about it as uh, sketchbook tour. And also the second one, I haven't used it yet because it's not the first one is not finished yet, and it's a notebook, but I don't care. I use it for a sketch. And this one is a, like tone tanned and it's very really good for inking. It's not good for color pencil or pencil drawing and I already did a drawing on it. 
Next I have my watercolors and oil paintings. These watercolors are very old, that's why they look very weird. But uh, they work very perfect for me and I love them, I love working with them. Um, and my oil paintings are also very old and you can see they said it's made in China and one of them is actually half of it is missing you can see it but I haven't used them yet because I don't know how to work with oil paintings and last but not least my watercolor brushes uh, which they are pretty like normal watercolor brushes which I use for my watercolor paintings that was all for today's videos. I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, also, don't forget to follow me on my other social medias. I will put the link on my description. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.